far away. Fucking cut. Where's that murderer? <laughs> Maybe you're cruising through the campaign, or perhaps you're in the market for some stealth gear. Or maybe you just want to show Toth that Henry wears it better. Either way, one side mission worth failing in your playthrough is Waldensians. Today I'm going to show you a fast and risk-free way to take out the Vicar and his guards so that you too can get a hold of this rarity, the Black Combat Jacket. Stick around and I'll show you all the sweet, sweet loot that these three have to offer. Whether you partied with the priest or seduced him with your machismo, the mission on the scent has begun, and it's time to follow our nose to Riki's hideout. But let's put a pin in that, because now that on the scent has begun, we can pick up the side mission Waldensians from Sir Hanish and Rate. Fair warning, you'll have about three days to find Riki once that main quest has started, but that's more than enough time to get this side quest done. Make sure to get yourself a Bane potion and, optionally, some drinking water. You can stop at the herbalist just west of Neuhof, or, if you're already back in Ujits, you can head to the Talmberg herbalist. A Bane potion will cost about 100 groschen before haggling, so plan accordingly. The Vicar and his men can be found at the Ujits church, and are nothing if not predictable. They sleep in Godwin's house, then they like to wake up at 900 hours in order to eat their breakfast. They also eat dinner at 1900 before going to bed. You'll want to arrive about half an hour before either of these two meals. If you brought water, now is a good time to apply the Bane Potion to a stack of up to five drinking water. This will turn one Bane into five, but, more importantly, adding water to a food pot doesn't raise suspicion from anybody. Now, we are playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, so make sure to drop a save before you make your next move, as there are times when the simulation goes awry. I've seen the guards go off and gossip with the locals, or even play dice instead of eating their meal. Once you're ready, you just need to walk into Godwin's house and find the food pot in the room to the left. Drop in the poison, being careful not to be seen if using the bottle of Bane instead of a water skin. It's a silent action, so as long as no one is looking at you, it should be no problem. With the pot poisoned, all you have to do is wait while they enjoy their last meal. The three men, and unfortunately, Godwin's concubine, should all be dead before 1100. You can wait around for the whole show, Skip to 10 and catch just the ending. Or skip all the way to 11 and just collect your hard-earned gear. If you got tickets to the dinner performance, you can skip to 2100. Now, let's quickly loot these bodies without being seen and take a look you at this gear. Stop right where you are! For the weapons, we are getting the Captain's Mace and the Spiked Warhammer. These are both very decent mid-game weapons. I prefer the Warhammer, but both will get you by for a while. As for armor, there are some notable pieces here. We have some popular stealth choices. The black padded coif and bell shaped kettle hat are considered best in slot. The male coif is not the greatest and will need to be replaced. On the arms, we have some pretty mediocre pauldrons, but the Saxon gauntlets are a pretty good pickup for semi stealth builds. With perks, they can be part of a zero noise loadout. Still, I tend to prefer leather gloves personally. The leg armor here is, well, the leg armor here is fine, but none of it is really end game worthy. The Pilgrim Shoes might be useful if you haven't already invested in a pair of something better. None of the hoes here are particularly top tier, as they lack in both charisma and good viscon. For the body, we get the iconic Dark Saxon Gambeson, and very popular Aachen Dark Brigandine. We also have the decorated Bavarian Halberg here, with the gold trim, which is nice if you like to swap on male when relevant. To top that off, we get the Showstopper, Black Combat Jacket. While not a piece you wear for full stealth loadout, this thing will keep your Viscon at very respectable levels, even when sporting some pretty bulky stuff underneath. It's great for firing off a few well-placed arrows without being discovered too quickly, and offers good added protection for when you finally close the distance and go full melee. As a last little bonus, we're going to get the Black Monk's Habit, a book for speech XP, and a couple of celebratory drinks. I feel like we've earned it. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and come back for our next Trial by Squire.